Locators and cues on VFX control. Locator and cues are functions which create a specific entry point in the media. The locator module is positioned on the lower right hand side of each player on the interface, circled in red. There are four locators available on each interface. They correspond to the four locator buttons that are on the controller as well. The auto cue point. By default, VFX will set a cue point in the first beat of a track. This function is designed to be able to help you skip automatically all the intros. This function can be deactivated in the preferences. How do you create locators? Let's create a locator instead of a cue point while the track is on pause. A red mark appears on the track wave. Once recorded, locator number one becomes red on the interface and the light turns on on the controller. Now let's create another locator further down the track. I'm going to record another locator further down the track. I'm just waiting for the right location in the track to put my locator. Please be mindful that the locators need to be precisely recorded. Here we go, we have locators 1 and 2 ready. Now I will briefly demonstrate how to use those in the mix. So what I'm doing now is I'm alternating between locators 1 and 2 while the mix is playing. You can also create live locators by simply clicking on the locator button while the song is playing. Here I'm going to position locator number 3. I'm waiting for the right timing. If the locator is not perfectly positioned, you can adjust them with the mouse. I'm moving back to the song to readjust locator number 3 using the touch sensitive jog wheel. Here using the mouse you can precisely locate your locator right on the beat. Locators are great mixing tools for live remixes. They also obviously have an impact on the video that you are playing. Now let's play around with the three locators. Here I'm adding the fourth one. You can see in the general track wave, above the player command, where the locators are positioned. Each locator has a matching color, which corresponds to the number 1, 2, 3, or 4. Locators that are recorded during a session will be saved on the media base, which means that next time you open the track, the locators will still be there positioned exactly as you had them. For example, here, I'm reloading the media, and you'll see that the locators are still existing. One, two, three, and four. The one last thing you need to know about the locators is how to remove them. To remove a locator, press Shift and press on the locator. Thank you for watching this tutorial on locators. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.